Hey everybody, welcome back to Change Your Perspective, Change Your Awareness, Change Your Life. I'm Dr. Michalina, leadership consultant, logotherapist, and Meaningful Life Life Coach. And we are talking leadership styles. We are talking leadership, 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 because we live in a world full of not great leaders. And leadership is a very specific skill set. I was actually on a meeting today where the person in charge just talked about themselves for 45 minutes out of the hour meeting. And the seven people on the call were like, what does this have to do with me, right? Leaders know and think about their followers. Managers think only about themselves. And so what ends up happening is that um, there is a threshold of people who they don't even ever hit leadership. They think they're a leader because they're in a, some sort of like management position. They're not leadership as i've said before and i will say again is not positional okay it is and it's not titled also when i say position i mean title it is relational right you step in a spot i don't care if you're at an entry level position you have influence you therefore can step into leadership and of course we're always leading ourselves so i want to talk today about transformational and transactional leadership, right? And so um, what we do in the transformation space, this is the kind of leader I used to be. So when I was teaching, this is the kind of model I unknowingly and unwittingly prescribed to. Like I hadn't studied leadership. I didn't know that there were certain things. Like I had no idea. I've just kind of always been a, a natural leader in the sort of transformational style, okay? Transformational leadership is a style of leadership circa 1992-ish. Um, and so when we think about transformational leadership, you should be thinking the inside out model, okay? True transformation is an inside out journey. So anybody who's trying to tell you going to the gym will transform you, yes, but no. Okay, yes, but no, because physicality is only one way in which we grow. Now, of course, the gym does also help with mentality. A lot of the times it helps with discipline, motivation, things of that nature. However, just because you are fit on the outside does not mean you are fit on the inside. It is an inside out process. So some of the fittest, most attractive people, athletes, as an example, can be some of the most horrific, abusive out of control, out of balance people. And so that is because they're not looking at the holistic person. Transformational leadership is about the holistic person. I wanna read this to you because it says it better than I can. So transformational leadership is a process that changes and transforms people, okay? It is concerned with emotions, values, ethics, standards, and long-term goals. It includes assessing followers' motives, satisfying their needs, and treating them as full human beings, okay? And so you might think, and you should think also, about how, um, well, how does this differ from authentic leadership, right? When I was starting to learn about authentic leadership, I was like, why is this different from transformational leadership, right? As an authentic leadership proponent, you're thinking about people's values, their goals, their wants, their needs, you're thinking about those things. The main difference I have found with transformational leadership versus authentic leadership is this. As an authentic, like as somebody who practices authentic leadership, I am trying to help the person uncover what's already in them. Whereas with the transformational leader, it's more along the lines of, I think I already know what you need, right? So like as a teacher, I was like, I think I know you need these things. Let me help you build them. Versus like as a coach now, I'm like, let's uncover what's already in you and like let you be your most natural, authentic self. And that is, I would say it's a subtle nuance, honestly. It's a very subtle nuance, but it's an important one because like, Transformational leadership has a lot to do with like people being their best selves for humanity. And authentic leadership has a lot to do with being your best self to be your best self, right? Period. So 
transformational leadership is um, I don't want to say the opposite of transactional leadership but I will say as the names imply one is about transforming and one is about transacting one is an internal out process transaction is an external in process external transaction is like I'm doing this for you, you're doing this for me. It's a contract, right? I'm giving you this money, you are giving me this time. And so to some degree, um, like our, our lives are governed by a series of contracts, psychological contracts, physical contracts. We are constantly in the business of offers and counter offers, right? Boyfriend and girlfriend, what do you offer me? What do I offer you? Husband and wife, here are the vows I'm making to you. Here are the vows you're making to me. We're keeping them work contracts. There's the actual work you provide. And then there's the sort of psychological contract. So to some degree, we are all transacting things all the time, especially here in America, we are very much consumerism based, right? We are consumers, we consume, we consume. And in order for us to consume, we have to transact, right? Nothing's for free. <laughs> Not really. And so we consume and we give. So it's a constant transactional process. Transactional leadership has to do with transacting an exchange, right? So to lead from that space, it kind of takes the human component out of the exchange, right? So a trans actional leader is somebody who is like, I'll do this for you if you do this for me. I find men tend to get into this a lot sort of easier because it's kind of a logical exchange, right? Um, this is why men don't mind paying like sex for money, right? It's all very transactional to them. Like this is why the OnlyFans business is moving, which by the way is just prostitution. It's just sex for money. You can tell me it's not, you're not correct. Look up the definition of prostitution. It is trading sex or sexual favors for money. Okay, that's that's what it is. And so men, a lot of times, fall into this transactional leadership pattern because it's a very logical exchange. And so it does tend to take that human component out of things. And transformational leadership is more focused on connection right? Transactional leadership is more focused on exchange. Tit for tat. I get this, you get this. Whereas trans transformational leadership is more focused on like motivating the employee or the follower and um, how they can be helped and what can I do for you and how can I make you kind of come up to this level of where I see you. You know, transactional leadership doesn't care about that at all. Transactional leadership is like in the moment. Transformational leadership is kind of a process. It's an unfolding, it's a journey, right? And so like, as a teacher, you kind of very easily fall into transformational leadership because it's like you're with these students for 10 months and they go from X to Y, you know? I used to tell my students, I taught juniors primarily in, in high school, and I would tell them in September, which is fitting because it's September and next week, um, or this week, technically, um, I would say, you guys are still sophomores. Like, you're still sophomores. Like, I know you're back and you're, you're juniors, but you're not yet. By the end of this year, you will be juniors. And there's a massive shift that happens over the 10 months where they're coming into their own, they're different. Dealing with 16, 17 year olds is a really interesting time period because they wanna be adults, but they're not adults, but they're, in some states, they're driving, in some states, they're applying to college, like, and so they're working jobs. So they're like tiny adults, they're like pseudo adults, right? Really tricky time. And so you want to, it's a very delicate time. You want to encourage, you want to engage, you want to be very careful with how you treat them. I obviously fucked up once, my bad, right? Thousand other times we did an okay job. And so um, when you are kind of, there's a longevity to a thing or time, transformational leadership might be an easier process. Whereas transactional leadership is, um, 
I don't want to say like it's a one-time exchange because it's not, but it's just like a series of exchanges over time. I do this for you, you do this for me. That should sound like all of our politicians. All of our politicians do transactional leadership style in their campaign speeches, which brings us to the really dangerous thing called pseudo transformational leadership. Okay. Now, pseudo anything is a fake something, right? Pseudo values, pseudo relationship. It's like P S E U D, pseudo. Um, that means it's a fake thing. It's a counterfeit thing. It's an imitation of the thing. Um, I had an ex who I used to say like, you're a pseudo daddy. Like you're everybody's daddy, but you're literally nobody's daddy. Like you want to take care of all these women, but you don't take care of anybody. You're pseudo. You're shallow. There's no depth to you. A real father figure, a real man takes care of the thing he has, the one thing he has usually well. You know, men tend to focus on one thing really, really well. My men watching, you know, there's truth in that, right? Like you focus in real well on one thing. Women, we tend to focus really well on like all the things all the time. Um, that's not to say multitasking because technically our brain can't multitask, but our women brains, we have a lot of tabs open on the browser at any given time, right? And so we women tend to care a lot. Transformational leadership tends to care a lot. Pseudo transformational leadership pretends to care a lot. There's a uh, fake component in there. It's like uh, you have to be careful with transformational leadership because charisma and manipulation can come into it. Now, in the pseudo space, there is a thing called charismatic leadership, which we will talk about because um, it's an important leadership style and an interesting one. Um, and primarily, you can say um, there are a lot of charismatic leaders out there. Um, I'd say Joel Olstein is one of them. I would say Hitler was one of them. Um, I would say Steve Harvey is maybe one of them, you know, charismatic is not necessarily bad, but it has an element of manipulation in it. I bring all that up because pseudo transformational leadership has that element of charisma in there, which can be manipulative because it looks like, oh, I want to help you out. But actually the leader, the pseudo transformational leader is just furthering their own agenda. And so that's the other thing we get a lot of in politics is pseudo transformational leaders. People who are like, I wanna reform and transform the nation. No, you don't. You wanna be in a seat of power and keep yourself there for as long as you can, right? That is what we have a lot of in our nation because when people get into power and they are not morally sound, they can get easily corrupted by power and greed, you know, and control. And so that's a normal kind of process that happens quite a lot. Um, and so all this to say that the transformational leadership style really is a good one. It's really an excellent one. Um, what, what ends up happening though, is that there are I think I'd say dangerous to pretty much any, any thing you want to be careful of, right? So, um, with the transformational leadership style, what that actually looks like is, I'm going to read this again. Um, it's competent. Any good leadership style is going to be competent. Okay. There's too much research on how confidence, true confidence, is one of the most attractive qualities anybody can have, right? And so a good leader is like always competent, competent, right? They are usually a very strong role model. They are usually a very strong communicator. With the transformational style, they are very concerned 
about their followers in a way. And this is also why I don't love transformational leadership as a construct fully because it negates the self and authentic leadership does not. Pseudo transformational leadership pretends to negate the self, but actually only focuses on the self, right? And so this is why these things get dangerous is because intention is a, an important component that we can never fully know or see, right? And so um, pseudo transformational leadership the leader is only focused on what they want and they're pretending, very wolf in sheep's clothing, they're pretending to actually care about the other person, right? Um, transformational leadership actually does care about the other person, doesn't care enough about themselves. That's another thing. Servant leadership is like that a little bit deeper, which we can talk about too, and a little different, right? Transformational leadership is not serving they are leading with the other person in mind to help them grow and change and shift and be really productive in society. Authentic leadership is also thinking about the self, right? Like authentic leaders are very well, well aware of their own self, where they start, where they stop, which as a transformational leader, I was not. As a teacher, I was not. As a person, I was not, right? Like I just wasn't self-aware. I thought I was, I wasn't like most people most of the time. And so anything I talk about here, guys, I've already been and done. All right. So I'm not coming to you from some high and mighty lofty pedestal pedestal. I've already done it. I've already been there. Anything I come at you for, trust me, I've already come at myself for and, you know, have a felony for it. So like, don't think for a second that I don't get it. I do. And so, um, transformational leadership really does care about the people they want them to grow. Parents do this a lot. Parents kind of automatically fall in a lot of times to transformational leadership. They forget about themselves. They don't really think about themselves. They don't feel like they have the time to. And they're focused so much on developing their child and helping their child develop and do it the best way that they can and all this stuff. And then like the child leaves and then they're like, wait, what am I left with? <laughs> right, transformational leadership, very worried about the other person. Pseudo transformational leadership, pretending to worry about the other person, only worried about the self transactional leadership worried about what can you give me in exchange for what I can give you and again I always go back to last video authentic leadership best style out there worried about everybody being their best self myself and yourself included right and so um it is a very very I think fascinating study honestly uh leadership's a fascinating study but transformational leadership is a good style it is a good style it's a very um sort of altruistic style, I would say. Teachers do it, parents do it. Um, potentially like managers who are well-intentioned in organizations might do it, you know. Um, I don't know why Starbucks is coming into my head. I've never worked at Starbucks. I love Starbucks. I love Starbucks. That is the number one thing I miss. No, it's not. It's not the number one thing I miss about teaching. But one of the things I miss about teaching is around like Christmas time when I'd get like 50 to $70 in like Starbucks. Actually, probably more. Honestly, probably like 200, 300. I would get, because I used to do like rec letters for the kids. Like I taught juniors. So I'd do like 40, 45 rec letters. Like, I was coaching, I was teaching, I was like, you know, I was doing all the things. And everybody knew my Starbucks addiction. Not mild, by the way. Especially not now in fall because pumpkin spice cream chai tea latte is life. But anyway, I digress. And so transformational leadership is a productive leadership style. Um, it certainly is that. Some of your college professors might do it. Some of your um, high school teachers might have done it. Some of your training staff, your HR, you know, people who are genuinely well-intentioned, they tend to kind of fall in transformational. People who are not necessarily well-intentioned or too unhealed to realize they're not well-intentioned tend to fall into like a pseudo-transformational and or a transactional style of leadership, right? And so um, 
there's a lot of charisma that comes in the pseudo transformational and um, sometimes even the transactional. So it's a very, very interesting study. All that to say, this is really to give you a framework and understanding parameters around your own leadership styles, what you're currently doing, what feels good to you. This is an honest to God study, guys. Okay, this is a study. Like, I studied it for three years. This is a study. So don't think that you're going to get it off of 20 minutes. You're not. This is why we're opening a school. This is why you can coach, come get coached by me. This is why we're doing a whole series on this. Like, this leadership stuff is so critically important and too often people just don't realize it. And so um, I hope it is helpful. I hope it's bringing you good awareness that you can literally use leadership training in every area of your life, no matter who you are. And um, we will be talking more about it over the next little bit. Um, if you like what we're talking about here, shoot me a comment, find me on my socials. If you are ready, to kind of commit at a higher level to your growth, to your change, then we can potentially work together. If not, totally fine. Keep watching the free stuff. Um, and other than that, uh, I'm over time, so I apologize. I like to keep it under 20. Um, keep watching, grow the channel, tell your friends, subscribe, like, and I will see you on the next video to talk more about leadership styles.